Hello everyone, Vegan here, back with another episode of U-Boat. Today we're going back to the Mediterranean around Alexandria and going to patrol around there for uh, a couple days and see if we can get 10,000 tons of shipping sank. If we have to, we can jump into the port of Alexandria and get that a bit. But uh, maybe we'll run into a nice little patrol like we did last time. That would be nice. All right, we have some propeller noise finally. Took us a little while to, to catch up with them, but uh, got a little storm going, so it's uh, gonna be hard to hear them, I think. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the captain on periscope. And see if we can catch up with these Propeller guys here. All right, we finally see him. Transport spotted. That's good. All right, so we're gonna set a course for them over here. See if we can get get them intercepted before they get to Alexandria here. So we're outside of our patrol zone, but that's fine. No problem there. Let's just make sure there's no no bad guys with them. There we go. Beautiful couple of freighters all right good so let's uh, go ahead and set up our markers what we got here a c3 black and what's this guy down here a uh, explorer empire explorer all right we'll get the c3 going first and get the captain going with chronometer and mark okay let's see what we got here looks like they're going at a speed of 5.6 knots that's not bad about average for freighters of this type 5.6 knots and 5.6 knots all right, and now let's see if we can get their course aligned here. In fact, I can probably just stop right here. Let them get closer to me. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. I'm going to go ahead and drop our snorkel. Get that off there. And then we're going to draw in our cir shooting circle. See, uh, check our ranges. He's right at two kilometers right there. All right, so this guy's at 2K already. We'll just call that 2K. And then this guy is at 2410. There we go. I think we're ready. We're ready to start shooting some, some boats here. Let's load the first one. We're going to shoot at this Empire Lagoon first. Let one fly. Okay. Now we're going to switch over to the Empire Lawrence. We'll shoot one at it. We're just going to wait just a second while we flood the tubes. And we'll go ahead and fire there. Okay. There we go. Got two, two eels in the water. Let's see what we get here. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to this torpedo here. Let's check its course. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a direct hit amidships. Boom! Take that, sucker. All right, awesome. Switch over to this guy quick. He's, he's sounding the alarm, so he may try to hit the brakes, but it's probably too late. Yeah, it's too late for him. Too late for you, pal. And your trucks. Oh. Hope nobody's in those trucks. Because that's not looking good for you, buddy. Oh, look. The Union Jack's down. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. 
she's going down quick. Serious damage. Both of those. Alright. Looks like we're about good to go on that. Let's go ahead and send this guy to bed. Moshes, we're going to put him back on the listener. And then we're going to go ahead and send him over to the radio. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gone. That one's gone. The Lawrence is sunk. Okay. What about the other guy? The other guy sunk? Oh yeah, they're both sunk. Nice. 7180. Okay. Go ahead and delete all these lines. Don't need them. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now I just need to uh, get back into the patrol zone here. All right. Cool. Both of those guys are gone. So. The patrol continues. Alright, we've got some more propeller noise. That's good. Five to ten. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Let's uh let's get this guy resting. Alright, and then we'll get the other guy on the motors here. There we go. Maintain the engines. I'm probably gonna need to be careful because there's probably gonna be escorts with this one. Let's go ahead and send Moshe's to rest. Alright. Got two different propeller groups. Nice. Okay. Alright, we got one. Okay. Got the Corvette. We're, we're seeing the Corvette there. So let's go ahead and match their course a little bit here. We're going to slow down just a little and see if we can catch up with them. We'll go ahead and tell Captain to... Uh, Go rest right quick and uh, turn off ventilation. We'll put Moshes on the observation scope. There we go. And we'll put this guy on. We're not going to radio in our, our contact yet because that's how we got into trouble last time. You guys are cruising, man. They're going quick. They are going quick. There's another freighter. Let me see if I can get away from that Corvette a little bit. Nice storm going, so that's that's actually really good for us. And there's a nice tanker in there, okay. I'll go ahead and pop the snorkel up just for a few minutes. There we go. Oh, up, up, up! Did he see me? Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's be careful here. Go down to twenty meters. Yeah, well, about forty meters. Okay. All right, he should not be able to hear me now. Let's send him to. Uh, he's in the listening room. I need him to... Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Nice storm. There's probably no way in the world they're going to be able to see me. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's, uh, let's slow down a little bit, though. Okay. In fact, let's come to a complete stop. He, he saw something. Detection. That's fine. That storm is wrecking havoc with our hydrophone here.
Okay. Alright, we're going to continue on. I need to go ahead and set some... What are you doing? Depth charges? What the hell? Who's, who's dropping depth charges? Oh my god, they're already dropping depth charges. Let's go this way. Surely he can't hear me with him dropping depth charges. Alright. Um, let's go deeper. Alright, and then uh, slow down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. They're, they're still looking. They're still looking. Let's go ahead and get him off of the motors and tell him to go to bed. I can't tell him to go to bed. Okay. And tell him to get on the motors? Uh, no, but he can get on debt steers. Actually, let's put Watcher on the steers. There we go. Get it, get that noise eliminated. They don't know where we're at. They're just guessing. They heard, they heard us crank up the engines. They don't know where we're at. Okay, I'm surprised they can hear anything with that freaking storm going on over here. I think he's just looking. They saw something suspicious. I tipped my hand a little too soon there. Low discipline. Depth charges. Uh oh. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Little deeper. Little deeper, guys. Little bit deeper. You go to bed. You get on the engines. Switch your sailors there. Depth charges. And it's dark. Depth charges. I can't tell what's depth charges and what's storm. Oh crap, that's close. That was really close. Oh my. Yeah, they're really close. Alright. Okay, now let's slow down. I think that's all the dip charges for now. Actually, let's just stop altogether. Uh, where'd my radio phone go? You can start listening, buddy. There you go. Oh man, this is tough. These guys are tough. About to have something break too. Bounty hunt. They don't like to be this deep. But it. Uh oh, someone's a coward. A few sailors on board broke under pressure. They may make noise and need to be taken care of. He's like, well. I'm gonna send Moshe's back here to knock him out. Moshe's. Knock him out. Moshe's like, I can't believe you're waking me up for this. Come on, Musk. Get him. Punch him in the throat. Oh, he's got him in the chokehold. Knock him out. Knock him out. Oh my. Poor fella. This guy's like, what's going on in here? Don't worry about it. Go about your business. <laughs> Let's go about your business. This ought to raise up morale. You know what's good for you, Will. This is the end! Shut up. About to get knocked out. There you go. He's in a critical state. Now we have to send... 
this guy over to doctor him, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's helping him. To his bump. Like, now that I've knocked you out, now we got to treat you. Okay. Oh, he's alright. Can you can you go help him? Can somebody go help him? Now we're alright. He's alright. He might die. I don't know. Okay. We're still looking. We have to be you have to be careful and quiet while they're looking. How the heck are they seeing this? Thirteen percent, fourteen percent. I mean, we are like way deep. By all this racket, all these guys. Not doing anything else, are we? It's noisy. I don't think so. Don't drop trip depth charges. Low air quality. Uh oh. We'll have to wait for him to pass over first. Don't drop depth charges. Then we can uh, pop the ventilators. All right, so we need Moshe's to go to the storage cabinet. I need you to get... Oh, he don't have them. Okay. I need uh, somebody to do ventilation. Please. Moshe's? Go ahead and do it. We need, we need air. So. Let's run the ventilators. I know it's loud, but... Hopefully it won't be too loud. 89 decibels. Alright, turn back off. Turn back off. Oh my god. Something else is about to break. I'm about to break. Pressure is on. And the convoy's getting away. Start creeping this way. Low discipline, yeah. Low air quality. We're gonna have to turn the ventilation back on again. Gotta be able to breathe. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of battery power here soon. Ah, someone's a coward. Stefan Keller. All right, Moshe's go take care of him, please. Oh my god! Uh oh, someone wounded. Batteries are close to depletion now. Yeah, no kidding. I don't. We may have to let this convoy go. I can't freaking get anything from these guys. Alright, let's come back up to periscope depth. As soon as they quit looking, we'll we'll pop up. Go to periscope depth. Get some air, get some diesel engines going. Oh my god. They're so close to us. Low discipline. Okay. Propeller noise. Yeah, no kidding. They're all over the place. They are all over us. Alright, they're running. Well, not running, but... Go periscope depth. Let's charge up the batteries. No, not diesel compressor. Snorkel. Okay. Let's charge up the batteries, please. Let's go back after this guy. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have to let that one go. Aren't you turning? Hold on. Let's get you on to the, we'll get you cooking. 
let the get the morale up a little bit. Um, send you to bed. Send you onto the listening room. Uh, send you to bed. And put you on engines. And he's on navigation. That's good. All right. Why is it taking so long to turn this boat around? We've got a transport in our sights here. Transport in our sights. Three of them. Perfect. Okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and get some targeting set up here. Let's get the captain. Do his chronometer. And mark. Alright, so this is a little risky because they could radio for help for these guys down here, but they're, they're quite a ways now away, so I think we'll be alright. I think we're going to be okay. And this is 5.4 knots. Alright, we should be able to get all three of these and that will get us our... tonnage. Would have liked to have gotten us on the uh, inside that big convoy, but I screwed up when I was trying to catch up with them. If I can get all three of these, we should be just fine getting our uh, our tonnage. I'm going to have him go ahead and start warming up some torpedoes. There we go. Alright. Now I just got to get some uh, and you're fine. Now I just need to get some ranges on these guys. Alright, can you go ahead and do a few more torpedoes, please? Motius. We, we need to figure out where the heck we are, too. Alright, let's stop here. Turn the snorkel off. There we go. Let's wait for these guys to get within our shooting circles here. Alright. Got a couple that are right at the 3,000 mark. We're going to mark them at 3,000. And then this guy is a whopping 35. Oops. No, don't want to do that. At least 3530. We'll do 3500 and we'll shoot one at him first. None of them are warmed. Oh, come on. Alright, warm up that torpedo, man. You're the worst. You're the worst. Alright, launching the first torpedo. And fire. I'm gonna tell him to start warming torpedoes because he he'll continue to warm them. Unlike this guy who just is freaking worthless. Let's put this guy over here resting. Put this guy on the engines. We'll tell him to start warming torpedoes as well. There we go. Got two people warming torpedoes. First one is away. Let's go ahead and fire at this guy. Alright, start flooding that tube. And I want to watch this torpedo here. Okay, here we go. Tube 3 is flooded. Hold on. Let's get this guy firing. Whoops. Ah! Screwed that up. Screwed that up. Let's fire that. Okay. 
He's gonna skim right by that first ship. Ooh, man, that was close. We almost hit it. I might have to still hit it. Now we're good. All right, so we're good there. And let's go ahead and get a third torpedo warmed. There we go. Very good. That guy's gonna warm that torpedo. This should be a hit. Should be a hit right here. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Come on. Hit it. Nice. Nice hit. Now this this guy might be a problem. By the time we shoot this last torpedo, he might start changing his his speed and or. All right, so this guy he might slow down as well. Let's see. Tube two is flooded. Okay. Thirty seconds. I think we're going to miss this one. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and start moving forward. Yeah, we missed him. We're going to move forward this way. And we're going to try to uh, recite with the captain here. And see if we can get their new speeds and things. Oh yeah, because they, they're, they're maneuvering. They're zigzagging. Alright, so let's tell him to start warming torpedoes, please. And, uh... Let's go here. Go into manual mode. Turn off this, first of all. And... It should be to my left. There they are. Okay. All right, he does have a couple of guns on him. All right, so that's that's interesting. Good to know. Go and turn on the chronometer here, and we're gonna get into new speed and. Go. All right. Looks like his new speed is going to be three or five knots. It says. Uh, well, if you say so. Ah. Let's uh. Let's see if we can get the statometer going here and mark his distance from us all right one kilometer that sounds good to me go and flood that torpedo it's all nice and warm and fire okay there we go let's see if we get a good hit on him Third half the distance. I think we got a good hit. I think we got a good hit on this guy. Looks like it. Looks like we might have a hit. And. Nice. We did get a hit. Good. Alright. Very good. Now we need to lock onto this guy. What are you doing? Resting. All right, Moshes, I need the, you to get on the, uh, the tap periscope, please. Get up there. Capitan. Yep. Get in there. 
up periscope, please. All right. He did. All right. Now we got the second guy here. Lock onto him. And I'm going to set the chronometer for him. And go. And mark. All right. Three kilometers looks like. Good. Let's get the statometer here. We have to go out just a little here. There we go. Use a little trig, a little trigonometry. Set that. Okay. We're going to flood this uh, second tube and fire at him. Fire. Okay. There we go. Let's get somebody loading or warming some more torpedoes, please. You need to start loading some torpedoes, I think. Or, well, maybe not. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. 30 Sekunden. Oh. Oh, we got it. Darn. Shoot. <laughs> I, I zoomed past it. Okay. He's down. All right. Let's send all that out. Got a lot of messages queued up there. All right. Now we just need to get back to our patrol zone. Finish that up and we can head back home. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pop up on the surface, matter of fact. Yeah. We need to get up on the surface, get some, get our guys some fresh air and get them out of here. All right, our patrol is complete and our mission is complete. Now we can head back to port. All right, another successful mission for U-96, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.